little scallywags, and welcome back to Things and Stuff with Captain Thunderpants. Well, today I have a question from little Lewis in London who asks, Captain Thunderpants, is it true that some people ride a bicycle with only one wheel? Yes, little Lewis, it is true, and it's called a unicycle. Well, today I have some friends who are going to show me how to ride a unicycle. So, everyone please give a warm round of applause and a welcome to Teo. Come on over here. My buddy Teo, and here's my other buddy, um, Person McPerson Pants. Tell us about your unicycle. Well, you have the tire, of what? course. The tire? Yes, the tire, the circular thingy that moves. Oh. Okay, what else do you have? And you have the seat, which is not just like any old bicycle seat, it's curved so it's easier to sit in mm -hmm. and then you some unicycles have a handle so when you're hopping it's easier to hold on to hop. Hopping? Hopping and some will have brakes underneath the handle some can have gears down here and uh, then just the pedals move with the tire so once you stop pedaling you stop and so you can't just cruise so it takes a lot of energy but uh, it's fun and sometimes people like to have their tire all the way up so they can go places easier and stuff. Go places? Go places. You could really go places with a unicycle. <laughs> yes, and some people just have it, like to have it deflated so uh, you can bounce, hop, easier. I see, very interesting. Now, now person, I notice about this unicycle, both of these unicycles, that um, it's, uh, there's only one tire. Why is that? Because it's a unicycle. There you have it, <laughs> because it's a unicycle. Well, uh, when did you start learning how to ride this thing? Oh, five years ago. Holy crow, you must have been uh, not very old. Well, I don't think so. Very well. And so where do you learn to ride a unicycle? Um, holding on to places on a flat, smooth ground like this place, and just have like a wall to hold on to. And uh, yeah, it's, it's easier there. You have, you could have to hockey sticks and hold them upside down and go along with that. Now I noticed, Teo, there's a lot of scuff marks on the front and on the back of your seat. So would you uh, say that you've, uh, this is, you've fallen down a few times on this? Yes, definitely. It, uh, it tends to fall a lot. Now would you say that a unicycle is a really good way to hurt yourself? Well, I don't know. It, it depends on how much you practice. Oh, I guess. And I see you both bought your helmets too, you know, very safe, safety first. All right, so show us how to get going on here, lads. Well, this is stalling, an easy way just to keep in place. So when you come to like a red light or something, just sort of stay there and balance. And then once you got that started down, what you can start doing is going backwards. You just go backwards. One foot. A bit tricky. Definitely hard to learn. Takes practice. Well, there's one trick that beginners are fairly good at, and it's looking like you're about to fall. <laughs> and Those are some pretty fantastic tricks. But I do understand, Person McPerson Pants, that you can juggle while riding a unicycle. Is this true? It is true. Prove it. Well, very well then. So, um, uh, Teo and Person McPerson Pants, I am now ready to begin to learn to ride the unicycle. Yeah. So wh what do I do? You take a helmet first. Helmet? Check. Check. Well, there you have it, kids. How you ride a unicycle. So there you go. Uh, uh, go ahead and get yourself a unicycle and a fence and uh, a helmet. And I'll, I'll see you out there. 
I'll let you know when I get it figured out. <laughs> you 